Today brought a meeting of two presidents, the President of the United States and the President of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And President Monson had a gift for President Obama. These powerful leaders spent about a half hour together, a meeting of mutual support and respect. President Monson and Elder Dallin Oaks presented President Obama with five leather-bound volumes of his family history, research done at the church's genealogy library. Afterward, President Obama released a statement that said he enjoyed the visit. The president said he is grateful for the records and is looking forward to reading through the materials with his daughters. President Monson's statement points out President Obama's heritage is rich with examples of leadership, sacrifice, and service. We were very pleased to research his family history and are honored to present it to him. One political observer believes the meeting has significance. President Monson wants to get across to the people of Utah, but of, of the United States and the world, that we want our president to succeed. Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid arranged the Oval Office meeting and was there. He said President Obama and Elder Oaks enjoyed discussing their shared passion for the law and also recognizing the president and first lady's deep regard for family. I am honored that our church can have any part in documenting their family history. The book Presidents and Prophets details meetings, photo ops, letters of U.S. presidents and Latter-day Saint church leaders. Historically, they talk about uh, family values. They talk about ways that uh, religions like the LDS Church can help strengthen the moral fiber of the country. Now, everyone's family tree has interesting connections. President Obama has ties to former Republican Vice President Dick Cheney. The two are eighth cousins. Friends of an